a clear signal from President Joe Biden on U.S.-China relations. This silly balloon that was carrying two freight cars worth of spine equipment was flying over the United States, and it got shot down, and uh, everything changed um, in terms of talking to one another. I think you're going to see that begin to thaw very shortly. What Biden called silly was the Chinese espionage balloon that flew over American territory in February, an incident that caused bipartisan uproar and led to the cancellation of U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's scheduled visit to Beijing. It's a violation of our sovereignty. It's a violation of international law. But in a meeting with Chinese foreign policy official Wang Yi in Vienna earlier this month, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said the U.S. is looking to move beyond the incident. Other top-level engagements followed, including a meeting between Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo and her Chinese counterpart Wang Wentao on Thursday. Wang also met with U.S. Trade Representative Catherine Tai on Friday. To have these channels open, I think it's a fundamental component to our strategy towards China, which now is basically a combination and a delicate balance between competition and cooperation. Beyond the desire to show that it can manage great power competition with China and to seek cooperation on issues from fighting climate change to stopping fentanyl trafficking, Yun said Washington is looking for Beijing to be a constructive force in the war on Ukraine. Meanwhile, China is seeking to leverage a transactional relationship on issues it cares about, including U.S. restrictions on semiconductor technology. A mutual driving force for warming ties is the APEC leaders meeting that the U.S. will host in San Francisco in November. For Xi Jinping, who feels as if he is one of the founders of APEC, or China is, um, he really wants to be at that meeting. And having Xi there without Putin will be a big feather in the cap of the Biden administration. Should Xi attend APEC, there's opportunity for a separate summit with Biden, their second face-to-face -face engagement as presidents since the pair met at the sidelines of the Group of 20 meeting in Bali last November. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News at the White House.